Hey everyone, it's Jana Verbakel, realtor in London, Ontario. As always, check us out online at londonsbest.ca. In our London market, it is, for the most part, a seller's market, meaning that there is a very good chance that you as a seller may get multiple offers on your property. This is great news because it means that you have more than one buyer who is competing to purchase your home. And it usually means that the sale price is going to be a little bit higher, that everyone's gonna put their cards on the table. You may even get someone with a much shorter window for conditions, no conditions. So it's a really, really good situation to be in. Now, what can be detrimental to your sale is if that multiple offer situation is mishandled. Uh, it can really, really take the momentum away from you being a new listing on the market. And I wanted to talk about how you can best avoid that. So the first thing that you want to make sure that you're doing when you have multiple offers is to make sure that if you are planning for them, that you have effectively communicated that to the agents that are going to show your property. So oftentimes what we'll see is a deadline for offer submission. So the listing may come out on a Monday, but they're not actually allowing any offers until Friday. So you want to allow there to be enough time for multiple offers, offers if you have priced the property for that strategy, which is to get tons of activity and hopefully a lot of offers which drive the price up. You want to make sure that your agent is following up with every single person who has been through that property. Oftentimes people will go through and they'll say to their agent, you know, we really like the property. We're not sure if we're ready to offer on it yet. And sometimes hearing that someone else has made an offer makes those buyers step up to the table. I can't tell you how many times I have heard people say, that house sold and the agent never even called me to tell me that they had received an offer. So you wanna make sure that every single person who has been through that house or shown interest in that house or maybe booked their showing after the deadline for offer submission is notified and aware that there are offers coming in on that property in order to maximize the potential number of offers coming in on that property. You also wanna make sure when you're reviewing the offers that your agent explains to you very carefully what the terms and conditions mean because just because you accept an offer and that might be you know five or ten thousand dollars more than all of the other offers it doesn't necessarily mean that that is the best offer for you it really depends on what your goals are do you have a house that you need to firm up on and getting a sale your the sale of your home finalizes may be more important than that um, you know that's where you really want to talk through what those terms and conditions mean what the risks are of accepting offers with conditions and also understanding who the agents are and maybe asking those agents some more questions about their buyers to really understand uh, what the risks, risks of them falling through will be and how likely they might actually be to firm up on the sale. Those are just two examples of things that can go wrong with multiple offers. I could probably talk about this for hours, but that's what I wanted to talk about today. Just because it's a seller's market and you are likely to get multiple offers, it doesn't mean you will unless you have properly prepared and executed a strategy to get those. And if you do get multiple offers, make sure that it is handled perfectly. Otherwise, it's totally going to take the wind out of your sale. Uh, of your home. Anyway, those are my thoughts. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those below. And as always, check us out online, londonsbest.ca. Have a great day.